everyone, I'm Ashok. Welcome to another series on machine learning and data science and this is about terminologies. You would have encountered many situations where you know the concept but a new terminology, a new new word uh, being like you don't, you're not aware of it that causes you to miss an opportunity to participate in a discussion. If it's a job interview, it's even worse because you, you know the concept but you cannot just give the answer because you don't know the terminology being asked. The goal of the series is to record all the popular terminologies being used in statistics, data science and machine learning at a very high level and thereby now going through this uh, the bunch of videos, a series of videos, you should be aware and you should, you should be able to understand the terminologies better. Okay, to, to start with, I will, the first terminologies which most often people um, uh, unable to answer, answer or, or missing is Marco chain. Marco chain is um, is one of the concepts we use for decision making, and uh, this has been, of course, invented by Andrew Andrew Marco, which is a Russian scientist, and this talks about the probability of transitioning from one state to other state. Right. There's a brilliant blog on this by setosa.io. I shall leave the link in the bo in, in the description so that you can check it out. <coughs> so um, as it, as shown in your graphical uh, way, the transition from A to B can happen in in four different ways. State A to state B. So you can have a transition from state A to B. Or you can also have a transition from state A to state A itself, it's staying in the same stage. And same with the B as well. From B to A is one transition, B to B is another transition. So there are four transitions possible if you have two different states. Okay. And the table shown over here, assuming all of these transitions of 50% probability. So you can see that from, uh, from, from A to A, this uh, probability of A by A is 50%. Uh, probability of B to A is 50 percent, etc., etc. And in the graphics, graphic shown over there, you can see that the transition is happening from B to B now, and it's staying in B to B and B to B and B to B, and then it goes to A because A, A, and then it goes to B and it goes to A again because it it, it looks like random, but <clears throat> obviously, if you toss a coin, what's the chance of getting a head or a tail? For example, it's a head. It's 50 percent. But does it mean if you toss twice, you get one head and one tail? No, because the probability theory applies only when you have, uh, you know, a large set of events. And then you see that the probabilities of getting a head and tail is tending towards 50-50% as the number of uh, events grows. So there is another example, uh, which is very interesting given over here, is about uh, what will be the next day, for example, sunny or rainy. Uh, let's say today is sunny and there's a 50-50 chance of uh, sunny and rainy. So what will be the next day? Rainy or maybe sunny. And you can see that uh, the, the, the second one, it is, it is sunny and rainy, rainy, sunny, rainy, 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 sunny, 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 rainy, rainy, sunny, rainy, sunny, rainy, sunny, rainy. So 50-50 chances, right? But in a in a, in a real real scenario, if today is sunny, the chances of being sunny tomorrow is higher, isn't it? Uh, when compared to rainy. And today it's raining. Uh, tomorrow the chance of raining is higher when compared to sunny. It's a kind of like sticky state, isn't it? So if you have a sunny, then the chances of having sunny is next higher. So if you could actually represent the chance in a state, uh, the, the natural pattern will be like something like this. You have rainy, 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 rainy. And then uh, sunny, rainy, 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 it's mostly rainy. And uh, when it comes to sunny, sunny, then you see that okay, it's it's all rainy, rainy. And then it's sun, sunny. Then it's sticking to sunny. You can see that it's a sticky pattern. It's sunny, there's a high chance of being a sunny, sunny, sunny. If it's rainy, there's a high chance of becoming rainy, rainy, rainy. If you want to actually define this, you could actually define this by using uh, a Marco table, which you can actually, let's say, uh, this is actually three states. Let me make it two states for easiness. So this this blog is really impressive because you can create tables, you can create just a matrix of this Marco, and then um, it automatically 
of course. So this is a let me just pull it out here. Can I pull it? Okay. So it's supposed to actually run. Okay, let me refresh it. Okay, and I'm gonna change the numbers to let's say and I'll say uh, 0.3 and 0.7 and let's say 0.7 comma 0.3. So now that I have just designed uh, uh, two by two, the same state before, and I have put uh, the chances of, like this is the same one I'm trying to do now here. But here, rather than putting 50-50, of, of course I can also change it here. Yeah, there's an option to change it. So if I just increase the chance of uh, A to A, uh, decrease the chance of A to A to uh, uh, point 0.1, let's say. Now let's see how it is behaving. So you will never see a very rare chance that the state from A to A happens because only only 10%. So when it comes to A, it quickly goes to B because there is a 90% chance uh, of transition from A to B. And if I do B to B, like, you know, A to B as really less, let's say, for example, let's again the same one. So you see that if it goes to B, the chances of staying in B is 90%. So it always try to stay in B. So it, it doesn't really come to A most often. So you can play with this transition. This is called as Marco decision table or Marco table. And this, this principle is called as Marco chain. Okay, so that explains what is Marco chain. If you're interested further, you can actually study the uh, settlesetter.io. They also have a very good uh, explanation of it. And also study about uh, Marco Chain and Andre Marco in, in Wikipedia, which is also left in the description. Thank you. I'll see you in the next terminology. If you like this channel, please subscribe and also click notification. I'll see you in the next video.